Guys, welcome to this week at Somleys. Not really much has been going on. Well I've, well, I've been quite busy, but not really got very far. As you can see, I've got a messy workbench, which only means one thing. I'm building something. At the moment, just building the Enduro Builders Kit from Element. This is for a project that's coming up very soon. Just put the Stealth X gearbox together. We've got a nice Holmes Hobby uh, Crawlmaster. Crawlmaster Sport there, 13T. A few other accessories and bits to go on. And just done the shocks. I wanted to do the gearbox and the shocks first, and then I'm gonna do the axles and I'll do the chassis last. Not recording it for that video, I'm just getting it built because it takes so long otherwise. As you've probably seen, it was race day on Friday, which was not yesterday, the day before. All done, all packed up. The king's done for the day. He's <laughs> he off. had someone pack up for him. Yeah, he had, he, had, he had someone pack that up for him and wipe his brow while he was racing. <laughs> that was a long old evening for me. Took me, took me a couple of hours to get there because of traffic and road closures. And then I went to see Kev's monster um, afterwards and yeah, I got back early hours of the morning but awesome race i'm gonna start working through i'm gonna start looking through the footage and getting some stuff for you didn't get a chance to run my lc racing but i am gonna go back there we'll do a bit of four wheel drive racing see how that is now just something on the videos of the race if you're expecting like formula one style stuff with in-car footage and then outside and full races with commentary you're probably not going to get it apart from a few races we were all racing in the same race i had a gopro on my controller and i think a couple of the others did and there was a few people filming from the outside but you're not going to get you're not going to get a full commentary formula one style race unfortunately well not from me anyway mine's going to be a little bit of build up to the race and i'll try and get it as best i can so you can see some of the action there's already a couple of videos out and they pop along rc i've already got two outs so go and watch them if you want to see what happened but my video should be in a few days hopefully uh, what else we got going on new rock hobby atlas 4x4 there i think i'll unbox that tomorrow rc4 wheel drive c2x quite an old platform now but they asked me if i wanted to try some of their stuff and this one looked really nice so we're going to get that out it's a class 2 competition ready to run so we're going to have a look at that at some point uh what went on in there the little mini hoonigan video came out of that last week really good fun in the workshop apart from its problems that i pointed out really good fun sliding around the workshop floor you've got about 10 days left of the prize competition for that and then and then that is going to a new home super force gt both videos done which you'll all be happy about because you were hassling me get them where's the video where's the video they're both out now banzai nitro's out I was, when i was talking to kev on friday he's got a video of that coming out soon probably slightly different to mine as you saw on my Forza GT video, I did crash it at 80 mile an hour. <laughs> this thing's gonna be a beast. That was with a 21 tooth pinion, 81. If you put a 27 in, I don't think you'll be able to fit one, but if I had a 27, I think that'd be faster than the infraction. Got a new arm for the XRT. I bought two, it was easy to buy two for postage. So get that fixed. And yeah, we might throw them tires on this week or next maybe. What's going on out here? Still sorting stuff out that needs to go. Uh, Geo's fixed, boxed up, ready. Probably put that on eBay, I think. I don't know when, so don't ask. Mini crawler course video will be finished this week. I've got it, I've got all the files ready. I just need to edit it. Well, I say it'll be finished. It depends how long it takes me to edit because I've been building it since before Christmas, but that is coming very, 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 very soon. Um, nothing else really. I've got a little bit more space on there now where I've cleared some stuff out. Oh. Bushido, Bushido. Gareth Curtis from GCRC kindly gave me this. There was no bottle of wine or champagne in there, but there was something better. This is a prototype LCG class one chassis, I believe. This is just standard, standard steel, I think. It's gonna rust up nice. And some carbon fiber, the carbon, yeah. Carbon fiber inserts. That's to space the chassis out, or spacers. Vader skid, and I believe this is a servo mount. Oh, what's that? Spare time hobbies, yeah. That, I think that's a servo mount. And the reason I said Bushido is because I think I'm gonna use the Bushido as like a base to stick this chassis on. This isn't the final product, they got some changes to make and stuff, but this is one of the prototype cuts. So it's quite nice to have that. There's not many of them about. This is called the Cayman, this chassis, by Gareth Curtis Radio Control. Oh, I don't think we got a Cayman sticker on the fridge. I suppose it best go there, it's in about the right place. So that's probably about it for this week. The Avanti Black is coming soon and could do something special with that. Little hint, we're gonna maybe go somewhere with it. And my battery's just about to die, so that's it for this week at Tom Liz. Cheers for watching, loads of stuff coming up, and I'll see you next time.